welcome to the channel. We are doing a countdown to release day. Our brand new box of the month will be released on July 1st. So I'm super excited. The theme is summer coffee. So for today's peak, we are revealing two products that will be in your box. The first stamp set here is called Rise and Shine. So very, very pretty, um, really fun to color. So we're gonna color up um, a little scene today that I created with the stamp sets. We're also gonna use the brand new stencil, Here Comes the Sun, and this is a Call Me Crafty Owl stencil. We have two designs, so you can flip it over to use the other side. So we have a little sun ray, and I love that. So we're gonna play with that. So for our boxes, you can purchase it as a one-time purchase or you can join the club. And when you join the club, you get a 5% discount. Plus you reserve your box. You'll get it every 30 days from the date you purchase. We provide lots of inspiration. So I'll have inspiration during sneak peek week and throughout the month, the design team will have lots of inspiration for you. We have a hop on the first, so that's really fun. There's like um, a handful of us and you just hop to each video um, and then you can enter into the giveaway for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate. So I'm gonna bring my mat out and we're gonna go ahead and finish coloring up this um, ice drink here. My plan for this card is to use the sun ray in the background. The Copa colors I'm using today. So I'm gonna start with my darkest color, E99. And I want it more dark at the bottom. So I'm just gonna lay down the E99 here at the bottom. Then we're gonna work our way up. So now we've got E97. You can use any brown combination. You can also make this into any drink you want. It doesn't have to be a coffee drink. It could be a one of those non-coffee frappuccinos. Okay, so now I'm going to color that little flower, the pink color combination that I have here, which is R85, R83, and R81. And I'm just going to start with my darkest. I'm going to do the same technique. Use my darkest on the bottom and work my way up. And I'm just swiping over just to blend this all together, make sure that the two colors are blending together. And the green combination I'm using is YG07, YG05, and YG21. leaving a space for this lightest color. For my whipped cream, I'm using E00 and E000. I'm gonna to try to leave some white space. 
I'm just going to blend it out with a colorless blender, which is the zero. We're going to do the straw in the same green color. Should have colored that while I was doing the leaves. And then for our cap, we're going to use a light blue. So I've got BG10 and BG000. I'm just going to outline it in the darker blue and then add some to this part of the lid right on the bottom there. We're going to blend that out with the BG000. And I'm leaving some white space. So it looks like a clear lid. And then for these little bubbles, we can add whatever color we want. Let's see. I think I want to do those in a darker brown. So let's do the E99. Whenever I make masks for my cards, I do leave them in the packaging so I could use them. And so I could use them again. So I already have a mask for this cup. So I'm gonna do some ink blending for my background. So I wanna cover up my image so we don't get um, ink all over it. So I am super impatient about waiting for my nail polish to dry and I've already ruined it. <laughs> I always do that, but uh, I just can't sit there and wait. So we're going to use the stencil. So we have two designs, one on each side. So I love that. I love this one. I want to try this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, the part here that's covered is going to be like the sun. So we're going to go in with the orange and make a little circle there. So I'm just going to position this where I want. Use my magnets to hold this down so it doesn't move. And I'm going to make these rays this orange color in spice marmalade and I'm gonna do um, them on the bottom and I'm, not, I'm gonna make the rays like pink on the top kinda blending into the pink because I'm gonna make the sky orange and pink like a kinda like a sunrise Ooh, that looks really pretty. It looks like it, it blended into yellow. Why did I take that off? I wanted to do the pink. <laughs> so let's see if I could line that back up. I wasn't even thinking. What was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> How am I going to be able to line this back up? Well, I'm having technical difficulties here. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. And you can uh, shift it to do uh, more lines if you wanted, which is a good idea. I hope this turns out okay. So I'm going to take the pink
Okay, that looks great. So I'm gonna do the bottom in the orange. So pick this up. And I'm gonna be careful here because I don't have any masks down on those flowers. So I'm gonna work in the middle first and we're gonna make the middle of the sun. So I'm just gonna do a circle. And I'm just going to gradually bring that out, the color out. And I wish I would be in the habit of cleaning my brushes because there's a, a brown undertone. I tried scrubbing it on my um, terry cloth here to get all the ink off, but I could see that the ink is going through because I could see the brown undertone. Um, yeah, so it would have looked a little better if I had clean brushes. And I'm going to go behind this here so I get some of the sun showing down here, peeking from behind these images. And then let's go in and do the pink. And I usually like working with the Distress inks versus the oxides. I think um, the oxides look more chalky and I like the look better of the regular Distress inks. But I didn't have an orange. I don't think I had an orange. I had the orange in the small cube. Um, so I wanted to use the bigger cube. So who's excited about this month's box? Um, leave your uh, comments down below. I love reading them. And you know what I'm going to do is splatter this with water to get that really fun look. So you don't have to be a coffee drinker to love this month's box. Um, think about who you might make cards for. A lot of people in your life probably drink coffee. So you can, with the coffee um, collection, you can make cards for like, say your mailman, your neighbors, stick a uh, Starbucks coffee um, gift card in a card and give it as, as a gift. Those are always nice, um, quick and easy gifts to do. Teacher gifts. You can make um, like a Keurig, Keurig gift holder or something like that and make a little tag and decorate the uh, box using your, um, your coffee kit. Um, if you're if you're a crafter that sells your cards, make a um, a nice coffee um, pack of cards. Those will sell quickly. Um, there's so many people that love coffee, so just keep that in mind when you're thinking about this kit. You might say, "Oh, I don't drink coffee," um, but think about who you're making the cards for. I do is move my little masks over for these flowers so I could kind of get over there. And then I'm going to want to ink on the bottom green for a grass. Okay, so now let's do the bottom. And 
I really wish my brush wasn't dirty because I want this to be more orange instead of muddy. <laughs> but hopefully that water splatter is going to help it out. And I think I might want to go over again after I do my splatter and brighten up those rays a little bit. So let's see if I have a green. Okay, so let's um, do some splattering. I'm just dropping some water on my stencil here and I'm just gonna flick it on. Hopefully that'll work because I don't wanna um, spray too much water on this because I do have a mask on there. This will give it some color as well. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let me zoom in so you can get a better look. So let me take that mask off so you can see what we're working with here. Let me clean up some of my mess. Okay, I'm gonna carefully peel this off. And I will go in there and fix those little areas. I wasn't that happy with the bottom of where my leaves were. It looked a little bit muddy, so I wanted to brighten it up a little bit. So I decided to stamp out a few more flowers. I'm gonna color these up. I'm gonna cut them out with my brother scanning cuts so they have a little white border. They're gonna stand out from the other flowers and I'm gonna put those in the front. So we're gonna look like there's this wonderful frappuccino inside of like a flower field. Don't miss our hop on July 1st. I'll have more samples using this stamp set. I can't wait to play with the other images in the stamp set. Okay, I'm gonna cut those out with a border on my brother's scan and cut, and then I'm going to place them um, not directly over but to the side of each of these so these look like they're behind. I'm going to stamp out the sentiment rise and shine it's coffee time and I'm going to cut it out with my pink and main flag banner here. Okay let's start gluing these layers together. So I can't wait to show you the paper pads and the ephemera with this kit they are gorgeous. I'm going to decide if I want to pop up those flowers. My banner is popped up on foam tape. I think I will pop those up. Okay, let's get our sentiment on there. And 
And then for my little flowers here, I have them popped up and I'm gonna just arrange them. I forgot I wanted this one over here. I want them down enough so the other ones in the background show. Okay, how fun is that? And this one's gonna go on the inside. So when they open it, there's something cute to look at. Now we could stop here or we could continue with some embellishing. So your kit will come with a pack of This Calls for a Confetti, but I'm not going to re reveal it yet. Um, so I'm going to use something else. I'm going to use Nouveau Crystal Glaze and I think I'm going to um, jazz up some of those bubbles or dots. And let's do the straw. That's just gonna look really cute. And you know what? I would love to do maybe the centers of those hearts. Make them look like lollipops. Cute little lollipop flowers. Just the added details really, really make your card special. So look at that shine. How cute is that? So I hope you guys enjoyed this card today for five days until release day. So visit us tomorrow for day four and hit that bell for notifications if you want to get notified for when these videos are coming out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys, and I'll see you real soon.